Hi guys and welcome back. How are you all doing today? Good, bad, so in between. So today is going to be another hotel review and I'm going to be reviewing Home to Suites by Hilton Fort Lauderdale Airport Cruise Port. <laughs> so basically it's called Home to Suites by Hilton. So this is an airport hotel uh, and as I always do I'm going to show you guys how it looks like inside. Alright guys, so this is the hotel room. It's really big. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. It's like a... This is like a... Pull out couch. Yeah. So you can sleep on this one as well, but this bed is a massive and it's actually really comfortable. I slept really well at least. Yeah. Yeah. So I think the king size and um, king size. King size. <laughs> and have a phone and air condition, which is really needed. Uh, some storage area. A massive desk and just some more. TV. Yeah, you have extra bedding in there. If you want oh yeah, that's true. And here we have some extra beddings in case you want to have separate uh, duvets. Or if you want more. Yeah, more people. <laughs> that's true as well. <laughs> and have a kitchen, which is actually quite nice. And you could rent the stove, couldn't you? Yeah, like a cooktop. Yeah. And then so you have a microwave and a full on kitchen if you're staying for long and here oh, nothing there really but uh like a regular sized fridge everything you need restroom hey <laughs> toilet and a shower and you can actually close shower here and the heater and cold is like together with the then you turn it on so the more you turn on the hotter it gets and then you have some like soap and uh, shampoo and conditioner well some of it is brought from us but there was shampoo and conditioner here right uh, oh yeah there was shower gel 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 and then shampoo and a little bit cement. <laughs> so yeah. There's like a button on the side which is gonna be fusing but there it is. <laughs> Turn off the, the toilet. Alright. So here it is. Sandra is not included in the room. <laughs> I forgot to mention earlier that they have this so you can divide the room in two kinda when you're sleeping. Just want to mention that. So it's also like a workout gym here. Big mirrors. Hey. <laughs> and some towels you can use. And in here, you can apparently relax in chairs <laughs> while you wait for your laundry to be done. And it's like, is it 50 cents or 50 dollars? <laughs> oh, 50, yeah, 50 cents. Per wash, which is not too bad. And we can dry them as well. Yes. 
some outside area. Sorry, it's a little bit <laughs> foggy, but it's really humid outside. There is the pool. So this is an airport hotel, uh, just so you know, so it's not really in Fort Lauderdale or it's not really in Miami. It's like, in between there, it's like in the Dania Beach area. Alright, so I realized that I forgot to mention that even though it's an airport hotel, it is not like walking distance from the airport to the hotel. You have to either take the Uber, uh, a car or like the free transportation thing that they have. And I just felt like I should mention that, that even though it says that it's an airport hotel, it's still like, I think it's like 5 or 10 minutes with the car. So we paid 1,693 kroners for it, which I figured out later on that's actually a really good deal for that hotel. Because I just had a look now and to see like how much is it per night and how much is it for two nights since we stayed there for two nights. So I had a look to see and it's uh, around 3,549 kroners for two nights now <laughs> and I checked like several days um, and that is what it looks on oh, like 3,549 kroners, Norwegian kroners which is like roughly 388 dollars um, and we paid 1,693 which is like so we paid around 185 dollars for two nights so we, yeah we did, definitely did get a good deal which just goes to show you that the more you pay attention to prices on different sites uh, like hotels, booking or their own webpage, you definitely can get a good deal if you pay attention to it and book at the right time. Alright, so I did have a look to see what's included in the price. We, did, we decided to take the car there, like we had rented a car, but they have free parking, which is always awesome. When I stay at a hotel, uh, especially in the States, since the fact, because of the fact that um, you drive a lot there. Uh, and I also have a free continental breakfast, like I, I tried to film it, but kind of awkward since there's so many people there. But I feel like the continental breakfast is was actually decent to be a continental breakfast. They had more options and you actually felt quite full and they had like the, the waffle option that a lot of continental breakfast in the States has. So the, they had like the waffle options, you can get like fresh waffles in the morning. Oh, and I also saw that they had like a free airport transportation, we didn't use that since we had a car, but I think that's like kind of good, they had that free option. And I also have and the fact that they had free Wi-Fi and the Wi-Fi was actually good there. But I do feel like when I stay at the airport hotel, I have higher expectation for the Wi-Fi for some reason. Don't ask me why, but I do have higher expectation when I stay at the airport hotel than when I do uh, staying at other hotels. So I think it, we, in the Dani area, it wasn't a lot, lot to do, uh, so we decided to take the Uber down to Fort Lauderdale. I think it took about half, 20 minutes to half an hour, and I think it's about the same. Alright, so I just, had, <clears throat> I just had a look to see, and it's about half an hour by car to Miami Beach. And I think that's about the same to Fort Lauderdale, I will double check. Because it's 20 minutes to Fort Lauderdale Beach, so it's a bit shorter to Fort Lauderdale Beach than it is to Miami Beach. But it's like roughly right in between those places. By car, by the way, not walking by car. <laughs> Alright, so this hotel was definitely really clean and the rooms were very big and the bed as well. Uh, it was the room we had only had one bed and then they also had a pull out couch so you could sleep up to four people there and the room in itself was really big which is nice especially when you have a lot of suitcases with you so more than one people <laughs> so that more than one person at a time can open up your suitcase um i feel like i had that problem a lot when i'm traveling especially like in some hotels are really small rooms so you're like okay now you can open it now i can open it <laughs> but now i have to wait <laughs> for uh, to open the suitcase but yeah, so the hotel and the bed for me, like I like soft beds. I'm not gonna deny that. Some people like hard beds, some people like soft beds. I like soft beds. And this uh, bed was definitely soft and also big. It's a king, king, it's a king size bed, just so you know that. And apparently it's pet friendly. We didn't, the room we stayed at wasn't pet friendly, but I think they had like separate rooms that is meant for people that has pets. Um, so it's definitely a hotel that most people like maybe stay for a longer amount of time and then just what we did like was two nights and I also think it's a lot of cruise uh, cruise passengers that are staying there before going on their cruise. They also had a pool. I also think always for some reason when I'm especially traveling to Florida I'm always like do they have a pool that I'm most likely not gonna use but do they have it because I wanted to be a pool there <laughs> and I did have a pool there uh, which guys good size to it and they also had a good sized um, 
workout room. I didn't use it myself, but I did have it, and I also think that's a good thing to have at the hotel, that you can have the option to work out if you want to. So we arrived quite late, because our plane was a bit delayed, but they didn't have, there was no problem getting into the hotel room, even though we arrived after midnight. Uh, which I think is good. I think that's because we stayed at the airport hotel though because they <laughs> kind of always like Probably expect people come a bit later <laughs> Oh, yeah, and the fact that they did have like a small little kitchen area I think was nice especially the fact that they had a fridge uh, I always like that I have fridges in the hotels just so I can store like drinks and food there I don't need it to be like a, a bar or anything like a mini bar but I just wanted to be a fridge so I could store my own stuff there. And I did have like a regular sized fridge there because it was like a air area for, it was like an actual kitchen in the room. That says a lot about how big the room was. <laughs> and you could also rent the stove, I think it was. I think you could like get a stove in there if you wanted to stay there. I think that's, and I think that's a nice option if you're staying at a hotel there that you can actually cook your own food, you don't have to go outside all the time because I can go out to eat all the time because that can be quite expensive in the long run. Alright guys, <laughs> I think that's about it. Like the free Wi-Fi, free parking, um, uh, free continental breakfast and um, yeah, soft beds. Uh, they had some... Uh, by the way, I forgot my toothbrush and for, that's for, of all the things to, to forget, I forgot my toothbrush. <laughs> so I just went down to the reception and they gave me a free one, which is always a good thing to get, that they have the possibility to give you a free toothbrush if you forget it. Because not all um, hotels do that anymore, sometimes you have to pay for it. But they actually got, gave it away for, for free, so that's good. I think it's a good hotel, definitely, if you want to st actually stay in Fort Lauderdale or actually stay in Miami. Uh, this hotel might not be for you just because it is an airport hotel But if you're staying for just staying for a longer amount of time and want to not stay in like the busiest area It might be a really good hotel um, or if you just want to stay one night before going to the airport Or if you're arriving late and not want to like drive into the city in the middle of the night This might also be a really good airport hotel for you. It definitely had a standard to it Like it wasn't one of those hotels you get into like ooh. No, it did have was really clean and really nice. So yeah. All right guys What do you guys think of the hotel? Do you have you ever stayed at it yourself or is it a hotel you would uh, Consider going to let me know in the comment section below and also let me know in the comment section below if this is the kind of videos you want to see more of. I have had a look at my channel and I can see that this is definitely the type of videos I get the most views on and I do like to do them as well. It takes a while in between them <laughs> when I do them but it is a lot of them coming up because of the fact that I did do a road trip to Florida, Florida so I'm gonna do a hotel, rev hotel review on all of the hotels I stayed at. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys hopefully soon. Bye! <laughs>